So welcome everybody. We're with this week. We're on chapter nine of Shmuel uh, Aleph. Last week we ended off with um, the people, or at least Sh uh, Shmuel is getting uh, on an age, and he appoints his two sons uh, uh, to also be to, to help him out with 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 guiding the people. However, they're not. They are not set uh, in the ways of Sh of Shmuel, and and the people are 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 a little bit. Uh, they they read into this, and 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 they have an issue, and so they say, you know what, we want to have a king just like all the other nations. Uh, perhaps we want to appoint somebody rather than than um, you know leaders appointing, you know, uh, successive successive hairs, so to speak. Let the people speak, and we want to have a king. Let us choose a king, to which Shmuel is is appalled, and as as is God at first. However, God says, Shmuel, don't worry about it. Do as as they wish, and they ask a second time, and again Shmuel tries to dissuade them. However, God tells Shmuel, Shmuel, let them. I will deal with them. They're actually trying to tell me something, not you. Just listen to the people. And so this is where we are in chapter uh, in history. This is where we will be introduced to our future first king. So this is really where uh, and and let me let me also just delineate the difference between when we had Shoftim and we had kings. This the 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 the, the drastic change for people to understand. Maybe I, I I think I should have explained this, and I I this is beautiful and easy explanation is up until now. The leaders were appointed by God, so to speak. In other words, if you're a shofet, you were you usually you were some kind of a prophet, and God comes to you, and then you end up being spreading the words of God. The king, the king, uh, uh, is was was supposedly or seen as chosen by the people. So, in other words, this is uh, if you want to call it democratic, however you want to call it, but it's it's where the populace seem to have more of a say. Or at least that's what they seem to think that this is the way it is. But we will also see how God's hand works uh, in with the monarchy as well. So let's continue. Chapter 9 in Shmuel. Vayhi ish mibin yamin. In a text, it's actually written very, very strangely. It's written as two words, miben yamin. Do you see it? It's in the, in the round brackets. It's actually written in a, in a very strange format. Almost from a, a rather than one whole name, Binyamin is is Benjamin, one whole name, which comes from Ben Yamin, um, two words put together, which most Hebrew names are 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 two two words put together, but but here it's split actually in two. But so there was one man, there was a there was a there was a, a person from the tribe of Binyamin, Ushmo Kish, his name was Kish Ben Aviel, the son of Aviel Ben Sror. Ben Bechorad, Ben Afiach, Ben Ish Yemini, Gibor Chayil. And they're taking you all the way back to the history of this person. He also happened to be Gibor Chayil. Either you want to, uh, somebody who's important or, or somebody hero. who actually was a fighting person. War words, hero. He, he, yeah. he was a war hero, exactly. Either, or mm -hmm. Gibor Chayil is also seen as a man of substance, somebody who, 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 was wor his opinion was worthy. Um, interesting that you know Ben Kish Ish Yemini. If you look at the first and the last name, do you see Ushmo Kish Ish Yemini? Mm -hmm. Was Mordechai as well. Mordechai, who we're going to about to read in the Megillah later on this week and on Sunday, Ushmo Mordechai Ben Kish Ish Yemini. So uh, it's interesting just just to make that that reference, and that's not the reason why. I wasn't able to teach last week because I wanted this particular connection, but it happens to be. Let's continue. <laughs> and he had a son whose name was Shaul. And Shaul was an excellent young man, Betov, and, 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 and um, either, either personality-wise he was good or he was, he was a very handsome lad. And there is none among the Israelites who was who was uh, handsomer than he, or, again, you can or or who had certain qualities. 
he was a head taller, Gavua Mikola Am, taller than any person. In other words, he was a person who, when you walked by him, he made a you you he stood out. This is somebody who stood out from the crowd. Vatuvadna ha'atonot lekish avishau, and it happened to be that um, a couple of the donkeys of Kish, who was the father of Shaul, got lost. They wandered off. Vayomer Kish el Shaul beno. So Kish instructed his son, et achad Go take along one of the servants, vekum lech bakeshet atonot, and go search out. Go look for these donkeys. And so he does that. Vayavor behar Ephraim, and he passed into the hill country of Ephraim. Vayavor be'eret Shalisha velo matzau. He crossed the districts of Shalisha. He didn't find him there. Vayavru be'eret Shalim va'ain. Then they passed through another area, district of Shalim. Nothing there. Be'eret Yemini through the entire countryside of of Binyamin through the territory of Binyamin. Velo matzawi, and and they did not find the donkeys. Hema bau be'eretz tzuf, and they entered into the district of tzuf. V'Shaul amar le na'aro asher imo lechav and ashuva, and Shaul finally turns around to his servant and says, "You know what? We've gone this far. Let's. I think it's time for us to 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 return back. Why? Pen yechdal avi min hatonot v'daaglanu." Because perhaps we've, we've wandered so far, we've spent so much time looking. By now, you know, most likely my father is worrying not so much about those donkeys, but he's worrying where we are. You know, we haven't found them. Where are we? So let's go back and make sure that we, he's not worried about why it's where we are, that we're lost. Vayomerlo, however, his servant stops him and says, no, 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 Vayomerlo. We're right now, we just enter, entered into Zuf. There is a man of God here in this city. This is somebody who's highly esteemed, revered. Whatever he speaks comes true. Let's, we're already here. Let's just go and, 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 and see him. Perhaps he can give us some direction. So he was maybe they looked at him as uh, 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 the, the 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 ways of olden days. Okay, so he maybe we can use his 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 console and he will help us in finding um, those those wandering animals. Vayomer Shaul and so Shaul turns around to his to servant and he says, But if we go, what do we bring as a gift as an offering to 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 this man? For the bread or our food is gone from our sack. We have nothing to present to, to, to this, this, this man of God. What do we have? What, what's left? What can we possibly give him as a gift of thanks? And once again, the servant answered Shaul and he says, here, I have a quarter of a shekel of silver. And we will give that to, I shall give it to, in other words, I'm willing to give this up in order for us to go see the, the man of God. And he will let us know our way. Notice, by the way, that it's thanks to what that they go and see Shaul. Was thanks to Yoda, I mean to Yosef. No, thanks to 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 what? The half the quarter shekel. For half, right? For right for a quarter of a shekel, that was the servants, not even Shaul's. So right. so the entire the entire episode is contingent upon a quarter of a shekel that was in the servants' pocket. Lefanim be Israel. Formerly, the ways of Israel, the way that 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 was commonplace. Ko amar haish This was this was the common thing that they used to do in terms of of when somebody wanted to go and speak to the man of God. ad 
let us go and search out the ones, the one who's able to see the prophet. Kilanavi Hayom for the prophet for today, Ikare Panimaroe was formally called a seer. In other words, uh, what we call Navi in those days, they gave him a title. So I guess similar to, to you know, we have a cantor or that, that somebody, a position. In those days, he was called Pan, Panim Haro'e. That, that, that was the uh, Haro'e. Interesting, by the way, Haro'e, you can look at it, you can read it in two ways. Haro'e is one who sees with an Aleph. If you look, there's, it's He, Resh, Aleph, He is Ro'e. But if you, the way it sounds, what is a Ro'e with an Ayn? Shepherd. What is shepherd. it? Shepherd. 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 Yeah, shepherd. Yeah, shepherd. Yeah. Exactly. Said, yeah. So it's amazing. The word sounds the same, and we mm -hmm. use it in our our lingo. We have sometimes Moshe, right? Was was Roe Roe Tzon, where he was he was uh, he shepherd. chose a shepherd, but he was also Roe Tzon, right? He was also the, our shepherd. In other words, he 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 guarded uh, <coughs> God's people. But roe also means somebody who sees with aleph. So it's it's it you the depending. This is what what is called ktiv, and also the way that it sounds. What the way that a word sounds. Shaul in aro, so Shaul retorts and answers his servant. Tov devarcha lecha nelecha. I I like what you say. Your 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 suggestion is great. Let's go and search out this man of God. Vailchu el ha'ir. They go to to the city. Asher sham ish elohim. In which the man of God lives. Hema Olim Bemalehair, they are climbing up the ascent. It was on a hill. They're climbing up towards the city. And there they met some girls who were coming out to draw water. And they ask, they ask the the the, the girls, Hayesh Bazeha Roe is the seer in town. The one that sees, is he in town? Vatanena otam. And they replied, yeah. they replied yes. Vatumarna yes. Yes. He's just up ahead. Maher, go quickly. Ataki hayom bala ir. He just returned to the city. Kizeva hayom laam babama. For today is a time when we bring up an offering um, at the shrine. So, also interesting to note, you see these girls, they could have just answered yes or no, but they're very eager to 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 um to give quite a bit of detail. any 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 suggestions why? right? Think well, what did they ask them? right? Shaul asks, is the man of God here, right? They answer, yes, he's ahead of you. Go hurry up because because there's going to be, a, they're going to be giving, a, 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 how do you go? There's going to be an offering being made today at the shrine. Why, why so many? Well, any... they're wanting them as an important occasion coming. Could be that this is an important event. They might want to be there, or alternatively, that he's going to be preoccupied. Okay, so not sim simply is because. That's you know the, the, they knew that that Shmuel would uh, would only be available for a little bit limited time today before it starts. Otherwise, so that's number. Or you can also look at it in terms of what was the pasuk before and how how was Shaul described? How, how was how was Shaul at the beginning of the chapter described? He's a man. No, 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 Shaul. 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 Oh, Shaul. Oh, he's, Shoulders he's, better. Above he's his... very good. Nobody's better than him. Right. He was definitely striking, right? And yeah. and in the way it is, the you know, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. For, for even a social way was perhaps there was some kind of, uh, you know, the, the, the girls got giddy or 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 in, in a normal way. And, and they, 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 they were striking up a conversation with with somebody who they found striking, etc., who 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 definitely got their attention. So. You can look at it either way, but there's certainly the girls were a little bit more uh, talkative than what that which was an, asked of them. But they gave them all the information. And so let's continue. Kevachem ha'ir kem, and they continued and they continue to to talk the the, the girls. Kevachem ha'ir kentim tzaunoto. As soon as you enter the town, you will find him. Beterem yaleha bamata lecho before he goes up to the shrine to eat. 
כי לא יאכל העם עד בואו, for the people will not eat until he comes, until he makes his presence. He who יברך הזבח, for he must first bless or, 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 or if you want to say, give, give a, a, the okay um, in terms of the righteousness of the sacrifice. Only then will all the guests, anyone who was assembled there, will eat. Vata, now, alu, go up, go up at once, for you will find him right away, and he will be ready to answer or take you. Vayalu, ha'ir, and so what they did is they ascended into the city. Hema, ba'im betoch ha'ir, they the the are city. entering the town. And behold, Shmuel meets them as he comes out towards them in order to go up towards the shrine. So this is the this is now we have we have this whole this is the meeting of the two who are gonna uh, of Shmuel and Shaul in terms of establishing the new order. Um, a hierarchy in 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 Israel. But Yasi, this is I, yes. This is not Yerushalayim, though. This is no. a, almost a a temporary. It's still a, a Mishkan. It's a temporary. It's it's actually quite interesting. Uh, great point. Um, this is Babama. Bamot was if if you remember, there were still some leftover. Uh, um, if I can say during during times of 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 circular motion of of following God, not following God, following God, not following God, one of those things was bamot about about creating uh, sacrificial places areas. Right. Some of them right. were actually accepted. Some of them were not. We That's clearly true. see here. We clearly see here that the intent was that they were only going to make it if Shmuel gives them their blessings. Who was Shmuel? Shmuel was the, the the man of God during that time. So if he so if he gives the okay, obviously they were not foreign or they were not pagan in their in their um, performance, but they had some kind of religious value. It's very clear from from from. Uh, Shmuel from, is there, yeah. It's actually it's a very small little detail, Michael, but a very very interesting detail indeed. But this was not a bad. Uh, uh, or, or a foreign type of a sacrifice. This was something that was was accepted, and Shmuel was even, so to speak, part of it, or or he had to endorse it. The moment that he endorsed it, then the people ate from it. So that's now we have the introduction of these two characters that will really form um, uh, or recreate the, the the leadership structure um, in in Israel. Varunai gala et ozen Shmuel. Now, the day before Shaul came, the Lord had revealed the following to Shmuel. So now we're kind of going a little bit of, this happened a day earlier, the following happened. At this time tomorrow, I will send to you a man from the territory of Binyamin. Lenagid al Ami Israel, and you shall anoint him as the ruler of my people Israel. Vehoshia et Ami miat plishtim, and he he will deliver my people from the hands of the plishtim. Kiraiti et Ami, kivat zaakato elai, for I have seen my people, and. It's 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 cry. It's cry has 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 reached me. Okay. So in other words, if you notice, how does God? What does God use? Let me just circle this. What does God say? What's that word? Nugget. Even though I I, I I I what's this word? Nugget against. Le nagid. It's not the same. So. so it's not the same root as, as the Neged. No, so no. it's it's anointed him okay. ruler. Lenagid mm -hmm. is unlike, remember what I told you, what a, a, a king is somebody that that the people are the ones who are, are, are electing, so to speak. Here, the, he, it's 
God doesn't say, Lenagid, Neged, he's going to be my, the Neged is, is, is uh, facing. It can either be uh, somebody who's against you, <clears throat> Neged. Yeah, that's what somebody, I meant by against. Yeah. Or, or we have in the Torah, Eselo Ezer Kenegdo, when, 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 when Adam is created, he realizes that he doesn't have a helper, Lenegdo, in his yes. mere image yeah. or somebody yeah. who, to compliment him. And so we have here, God saying he's going to be my compliment, or in other words, he's going to be now. You're he's not going to be the, the 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 man of God, but he was going to be the one who will physically, so to speak, rule or or guide the people. But this is where you get to see that even though the the, the people want a king, it's not that they go and vote on on a certain day, and they all cast their votes. They want this person to be king, and then etc. It goes whether it's hierarchical or, or or it continues going and then we'll see God's hand as well in terms of who is an anointed king but the structure of what a king looks like is different than what leadership has been now because now it's been uh, uh godly it's still it's been godly directed now the direction will still go to the navi but you'll have another person who will who will oversee the people with in conjunction, as you will see, with the 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 prophet, and from here on in, you will always see there's a king, and king has a prophet as well. There's 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 a symbiotic relationship, so the the people see, or at least they feel that they're they're not ruled by the the navi. There's going to be a a, a a a somebody who is, uh, I don't want to say, I, can I say the division of 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 state and church? Not kind, not really, because it was very clear that there was a connection. But it's not the person who is the Navi, the prophet, that is determining what the prophet just suggests to the king what to do. Okay? But very clearly, we see the hand of God working here. So day earlier, God told, a day earlier, <coughs> God had mentioned to Shmuel, he will send somebody from Binyamin, and that person will be anointed as, as God's uh, 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 say. Ushmuel. I have a question. Yes. Question about anointment is, <clears throat> which became a practice through the centuries after. Was there a precedent in in Hebrew history of an anointment of using oil to designate power? So the first authority? one. Yes. So the first anointment started with with uh, Aharon Kohen and his sons. They had to be anointed with Shemen Hamishcha. With okay. oil of of uh, specific oil, specific mm -hmm. ritual that started from the Torah. That's all the way from the Torah. And if you that was the um, the original, if you want to say, we, we have to understand that when 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 uh, the whole establishment of priests happened in the desert, they had a very different structure. They all lived together. They all encamped within a very closed close proximity it was very easy to to, to 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 keep them together so to speak that was the challenge once they crossed into israel that we've been reading of because now they're dis dislocated that now they're disjointed they don't have this common thread and that's what kind of i see it as the nevi'im is how do they get together to build this common you know it's not like they're they're connected through telephones or internet or that you know, you you may never see, you know, like 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 uh, uh, another city w out, outside of your your area. Who's who's making the rules? What changes are there, etc. Um, and this is, I think, a natural in, uh, evolution into the way that 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 the people can actually be ruled because they 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 maybe did not know all the rules, all the laws, and and maybe that was the failure of of the the the, the priests or that structure that they they stayed in one place primarily and did not reach out as they that's what they needed uh, you yeah. see <clears throat> yes isn't it possible to think of this as a division of the sacred and civil society yes somewhat and, this one absolutely peter you're right continue well and it's just to say that the linkage between the two is it's not it's complementary it's not conflictual 
So the importance of being um, in charge of civil society is the kind of burden really, which uh, has been taken away from the prophet, which is essentially responsible for the sacred nature of society. In, in theory, you're right. In practicality, you will see that the king still has to do, perform that which God demands from him through the prophet. So it's kind of like, it's, it, it, it's the people's side as though, that's why it's not really a division between church and state. Right. Um, although that's what it kind of looks like, exactly what you described. But you will see that, yeah. For instance, the, again, again, going back to the holiday of of uh, Purim, the way the, when Shaul's, you know, uh, um, uh, I guess dynasty ends and and his family does not receive the dynasty down towards him is because he did not follow what Shmuel told him with Agag, as we mm -hmm. will read it in, in in next chapters. In other words, he was given directives by by Shmuel. Who's getting them from God to 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 perform etc. I don't want to tell you what it was, but he, if you you will you'll read the Haftarah soon. Uh, yeah, this weekend's Haftarah. <laughs> yeah, and 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 you you we will see what happens. Um, he doesn't do that. What ends up happening? God says that's it. Your your kingship is gone, and that is when it passes over to David. And then Shaul is 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 realizes it, and Shaul sees him as a threat, and to the last years of Shaul, he's trying to find David and 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 right. eliminate him as a threat. So right. there is, so there is the people kind of see him as a separation, like you said, but really in essence, you see from the beginning, what we're reading exactly now, that he's already appointed by God. Like there is a connect. In other words, it's not somebody who they just think who's gonna be, but he <laughs> looks like a king. He's 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 handsome, he's tall, he's he's got a presence. He's he's obviously has the qualities of of physical qualities that we see in a king, um, but in terms of his demeanor, his 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 capabilities, um, his connection, uh, going to the, he wants to go see uh, uh, the man of God to get direction from him in his belief has to have that connection as well, and he's still he's still deeply connected, but it's how visually the the people see it, and then later on, Peter, we absolutely have kings. That totally distance themselves from 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 the spirituality, or they create their own their own uh, uh, prophets and their own direction, and those are the wicked kings that also are are treated as differently. Shaul is a righteous king that later on goes off the way, so to speak, a little bit, uh, doesn't ful fulfill his mandate fully as he needed to, so he gets punished. Uh, but then there are also wicked kings that are uh, the wicked kings that are trying to 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 um, you know move away from 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 uh, the religious uh, 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 or the correct religious path, but we will see that later on. So, got back again. Now we're we're seeing in the backstory, Sh Shmuel gets a day earlier a note from God telling him that a ben, uh, somebody from Benjamin is going to come. And he's going to present himself to you, and that's going to be who you will choose as the leader. Ushmuel ra'ai Shaul, and Shmuel. As soon as Shmuel saw Shaul, Barnai Nahu, and the, God declared to him, "Hineha I remember yesterday I told you about a person who I'm sending uh, to you. Ze yatzor beami. This one will govern my people. Vaigash Shaul et Shmuel betocha shaar, and they met. Shaul meets Shmuel in the gateway. Vayomer hagida nali, and Shaul asks this person who's coming towards him, Eze beit haroe, please direct us to the house of the seer, of the one who sees. So in other words, Shaul does not know who Shmuel is. He never met him nor has he ever seen him on television. Vaya'an Shmuel et Shaul, and Shmuel answers Shaul, Vayomer anochi haro'e, I am the seer, I am the one who sees. Ale lefanai habama, please 
go ahead of me up to the shrine. For you will eat with me, you will dine with me today. And I will send you in the morning. You will stay with, you will eat, and you will you, you will be my guest overnight. Anything that you wish, afterward, we will discuss tonight. We will have plenty of time. But in the meantime, be my guest. Come on up. And we were going to go up to the shrine. And he says, by the way, And as for your donkeys, Hayom shloshet hayamim that have strayed strayed now for three days. Al tasem et libcha lahem in nimtzau. Don't worry, don't occupy with them, for they have already been found. Ulmi kol chemdat Israel, and for whom is all Israel yearning? Who has their their love chemdat their, their desire for? Halo lecha ulechol beit avicha. If not for you and your ancestral house. So within one sentence, Shaul doesn't even have to ask Shmuel. Shaul, Shmuel already tells him, with regards to your, your, your donkeys, they've already gone home. Don't worry about it. They already find don't 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 bother with it because there's a bigger issue on the table here. And that is the desire of Israel. What was the desire of Israel to get a king? Remember that? That's from chapter eight. And he says, That's you. Vayan Shaul Vayomer Halo Venyamini Anochi Miktane Shifte Israel. Shaul replies and says, But I'm just a Benjaminite from the one of the smallest insignificant tribes of Israel, and my clan is the least of all the clans of the tribe. In other words, I come from a very small family. Why are you suggesting? Such a, 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 a we just met. Do you know who I am? I, 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 I'm, I'm not that. You know, he's he's taken aback. What 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 is being asked for me? Shmuel et Shaul Shmuel takes Shaul and his servant Vayaviem Lishkata, and he brought them in, into the into the hall where they're all get, uh, meeting. Vayten lahem akom berosha keruim, and he put him at the head. Of all the guests in an important space. Vehema, Hishloshim Ish, they are there, some 30 people. So in this big room, there are 30 people at the head of the table. Uh, Shmuel sits Shaul. Vayomer Shmuel at Tabach. And Shmuel uh, looks over to the cook. Tenai Tamana, please bring the portion, Asher Natatilach. Please bring the portion which I gave you. And told you to set aside. Vayarem hatabach et hashok Shaul, and the cook lifted up the thigh and whatever was on it, the the, the meat that's that's attached to it, and set it before Shaul. Vayomer hine hanishar sim lefanecha echol, and Shmuel said, "What has been reserved is set before you." Kilamoed shamur lecha lemor haam karati. Eat, for it has been kept for you for this occasion. When I said I was inviting the people, Shaul im Shmuel and Shaul ate with Shmuel. In those days, by the way, as as is still in Middle East, uh, um, uh, Middle East culture, um, whenever we have Vayochalimo, right? Vayochal Shaul im Shmuel. This is um, a connection. So when we have the Malachim with Avraham, right? They ate with him and they drank with him. It's it's an act of of connection. Whenever we have these these we have this. It's an act of. It's not it's not the physical act that they they all went out for dinner together. Even when we, it's the fact that now they are bonded together. They have some kind of com commonality together. It's not just two separate people eating, but there's a bond that is being formed. Vayardu. And then they ascended from the shrine to the town. And there Shmuel talked to Shaul on the roof. By the way, if you want to look at it very, very... Carefully. I guess if, if, if this was a Tarantino movie, 
you know, where the where the end is actually the, the or the beginning is actually the end. Um, again, I I mentioned beforehand we had har <clears throat> and ha the aleph and the ein, and look at this word. Can anybody make can anybody make a connection with that with what will happen in the future? And I kind of uh, I, I I kind of hinted to it at the beginning when Shaul does not follow Shaul does not follow the uh, the commands of Shmuel and that brings the end of of uh, of his reign. So if you change the the hey to an aleph and you have same um, word. I'm sorry for Agag was actually the king of the Plishtim. Yeah, that's uh, right. I'm sorry. Agag was was Amalekites. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you want to read it, if you want to read it, what it sounds like, Vayardu Mehabamahair, once they finished with their shrine, they they left by the bear im Shaul al Agag. And Shaul, he, Shmuel spoke to him about Agag, about the king of Amalek. It's kind of uh, if you uh, I look at it as beautiful yeah. as a beautiful foreshadow of in the future Al Hagag. This is the beginning of of his his relationship and where he's going to be turning his life into. But Al Hagag is the, the what what he does not perform with the king of Amalek about Agag that will be his demise as well. So this is the the beginning and the end is Hagag and Agag. Vayashkimu, and so they 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 spoke all night, I guess, or they spoke. They went to bed. Vayashkimu, and early in the morning they woke up. Vayikalot Shachar, just as the break of day. Vaykrash Shmuel el Shaul Agaga, and once again Shmuel calls Shaul to the to the rooftop, or maybe they had some kind of uh, uh, you know like a, a, a veranda. Kuma vayshlachecha, come on. Around, wake up and I will send you, please guess. In the olden days, it's not that you just woke up, you know, packed your, your station wagon and drove off. Your 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 host would actually welcome you, uh, uh, literally welcome you or send you off in a welcome. In other words, he, he sent you off. Um, so here, here Shmuel is, is giving him the permission. Please, you'll be my guest. I know you're you want to go home. Please be my guest and 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 you may return. Vayakam Shaul. Shaul wakes up, both of them exit, they both went outside. Hema, yordim bikteha ir, as they're walking towards the end of town, towards the town edge, Ushmuel Amar Shaul, Shmuel turns around and he tells Shaul, he tells him, please tell your servant, just tell him to walk ahead. And vayavor, and he walks ahead. So, in other words, I need some private time with you. Please just send your send your servant just a little bit ahead. I gotta speak to you, <clears throat> mana mana. Vata mot kayom, but you, Shaul, just stay here for a moment. Vashmiacha, vashmiacha et devar Elohim, and I will sound to you. I will let you know what God has spoken to me. What the word of God is. So this is. The end of chapter nine. This is where the reveal is going to be. So I I I, I find that a a lot of a lot of the 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 um al although it is historical what we've been reading in Nevi'im some of it is is inconsistent here here the text is very personal um and I find it it's it it it, it number one we we get to know Shaul. That he was actually very humble, even though he may have been, you know, uh, uh, lar when he's given this 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 news. Oh, the whole ma he's he's taken aback. He's like, I'm a, just a simpleton, you know. Don't don't ask. I, I'm 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 not such a sophisticated human being. And here right now we have this beautiful interchange. It's almost like a relationship that is caused overnight. And again, one we have it because it's of the half. Oh, sorry, it was a quarter of a shekel that was not even in his pocket. It was a pocket of, of the servant, so really he he has a debt of 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 uh, uh, gratitude towards his 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 right hand man, his servant, who's technically supposed to serve him, but he's the he's the one who created this relationship, and you have also all this 
this this hoopla of of, of a, a buildup to what really will mount to uh, a monumental change in in the way that uh, the the structure social structure of the Israelites. Any questions? Any any comments on 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 this chapter? I have. I just uh, sorry. Yeah. yeah far, yes, Farla, <laughs> go ahead. I want to know if God chose Saul, why did he not choose a more perfect person to lead as the first king? So, so again, from the text, he was the most suitable at that point. The beautiful thing about, I think, our history is that <laughs> there's no perfection. It's not that God chose, even Moshe made, made a mistake. You know, he, he hit it instead of the rock, instead of spoke it to the rock, uh, et cetera. That is the beauty. You can't once once he's given the reins. Sometimes you see how 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 the person also changes with all the pressures that 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 he had, um, and then his desire. I also believe that, as I mentioned beforehand, and I don't have. I never I never saw his medical record, so I can't tell you for sure or his psychological you know like uh, records. But there was definitely, if you look at the way Shaul, and there's references that he was you know that people describing has as he has a craze he has this 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 um uh, uh uh focus on 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 david and that's all that he has he that he maybe had some kind of 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 dementia or or some kind of 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 uh um you know uh, debilitating literally uh psychological disease as he got older um plus to add to that all the stress with you know, the, the disappointment of the kingship not following the hierarchy, not following to your son and 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 Jonathan, who was Shaul's son, loved David like 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 a brother. And so like he sees that maybe as 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 well as, you know, treason, whereas the, the son is is has nothing. The connection he's. But regardless, I think far of the beauty of it is. This is kind of what the people wanted. That was part of that fault was who did they get? Even though it was godly directed, they still have a human being who is fully flawed like you and I. And that will also come out in the way that they reign. That's it's 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 all combined into that one snowball. That's all part of part of those that 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 make up of that of of, of that relationship. So that's that's really good point. Thank you, Farla. Chaim. Now I have a question about Shmuel. I'm sorry I missed a few sessions. But as I recall, his itinerary, the, the towns that are mentioned where he went between, were largely confined to the territory of Benjamin. No, or, or does it describe his movement outside of the territorial area of Benjamin? Uh, sometimes it was it was it was outside, and his how his one of his encampments where he came in. Because don't forget, if, if he went up to the north, he would be out for for for. For a couple of months, it's not like he, you know, went for one day, etc. In those days, so here it's in the city of here. Oops, sorry. And it is in the city of here. How come I can hit the tuck tuck? Suf. In Tzuf. Yeah. it this is the district of Tzuf, which it was a town. I, 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 right now it evades me. I remember I mentioned last time, but if uh, I don't think it was Mitzpe, but it could be Mitzpe, where where he's his that one of his one, one of his his towns where he really was situated. I just don't. I can't tell you right now. I didn't. I didn't really look at what that area, that district encompasses. Maybe there were a couple of towns, or you know, you have in those days you used to have. Uh, tribesmen, so to speak, you know, clansmen living in an area that these, you know, so that way they're not fighting with with their sheep, kind of, a, you know, so they all have kind of like it was it was it was very um, uh, family oriented living. So, you know, strangers. That's why we have a lot of laws about the stranger amongst you, etc. That you have to treat him as a human being because in in the olden days, that's that's you know, if you were a stranger. You were an outcast. You were not welcomed into into community. It's not like now. Oh, where are you moving? Oh, I'm moving to Vancouver. You know, across town. Okay, great. Because you could. Oh, whoa, I'm 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 immigrating to wherever it might be. It, it's and even then, I mean, we still we, we certainly will feel outcast. But 
that transiency didn't, didn't exist in terms of what you were able to do um, unless you were, uh, uh, you know, like a, somebody who's a salesperson or a, or a tradesman that went out, and, but you came back to home. So you were away for, 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 for quite some time, but then you traveled back home. But living, it wasn't. We have this territory, which was where he really stayed in, I'm sure. And, and by nature, every Navi was almost like a wanderer. That's how that's how he passed along God's God God message, and I think they also had runners that used to tell. It was it was a it was a network of people. Usually, every navi also has has his naro. He also has a right hand man who eventually sometimes becomes as well the navi, or 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 does all the work that a navi can't in terms of if they're younger, you know, cover more ground, let people know that the navi's coming, gathers everybody so they can. Uh, uh, speak the word of God to the entire crowd of that area and then move on. So, um, yeah, he was, so to, to, to answer, I, I, I'm not sure where, where Suf right now is. I didn't, I didn't really look at it. Um, I'll try to, I'll try God willing to answer that for you next, uh, two weeks from now. Anybody else? As, is everybody excited about, about the, like, can, can you see like this formation, like this, this, and and, and, and I, when I read this, I see a very deep admiration that Shmuel has actually for Shaul. Mm -hmm. You you can see that he almost hints to him, and and he, in 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 a jovial way, but in a loving way. Um, and he's he he comes around from. I, I see a big change from chapter eight, where he's kind of cynical about this desire of the people to 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 have a leader, but God speaks to him and says. You follow, and suddenly he's he's all in, and and through a little without scaring, he sees that he doesn't want to scare him too much. You know, he realized when he told him, "Oh, you're the one who we did," and it scares Shaul off. He uses his personal skills kind of to to to, to calm him down, and 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 there's like a wonderful uh, relationship that is is creating, and that's that's the way that I that I see it, and we will see that relationship sour towards the end. And again, Al Hagag and Agag, you will see it. Where Shmuel is not scared also to 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 reprimand Shaul without any um, without any any hesitation. Michael, you have a question? Yeah, did I just hear from you? We weren't having class next week. There's yes. So next week is is uh, Shushan Purim. Um, I will uh, yeah. There's no class next week. I will. I sent it in today's note, and God willing, oh, I will. I will remind okay. everybody. Um, um, during the week uh, uh, next week. Ish. I know okay. Sunday is Purim, so I, I know everybody's well, people will be busy, etc. I'll try to get it during the week to remind everybody that there's not no uh, no class next week. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? Any other comments? Thank you, Thank you very much, Yossi from Tamara and Philip. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. We're able to I want to wish everybody Shavua Shavua Tov, everyone. Happy